Hey guys, welcome to Puppet Show Mystery of Joy Vault. Now, I have never played this. I've played, um, the second game in the series, so after this one, like, years ago, and again, just recently. But then I found out there was an actual series, and that that game wasn't the first one in it. So I found the first game, which is this, and it was like seven bucks, so I thought, why not? So, let's start. Okay, so, welcome to Joyville Detective. I am Ikido, owner of this once lovely hotel, and this is Sarah, my daughter. Thank you for coming so quickly. You must find him, Detective, I implore you. Who am I looking for? Please, Sarah, I am sure the detective has had a long journey and would like to rest before starting the investigation. My apologies, Detective. It's just that Simon has been missing for three days now, and every second we wait could be his last. Go home, Sarah, while I show the detective to his room. Come, please. Ooh, Simon. Perhaps I better tell you about the bane of Joyville and why I've called you. I just hope you can find Simon as soon as possible. People have been disappearing one by one for some time now. The police are worthless and afraid of malevolent spirits that come out when it's dark. Oh, but you must be exhausted, and I see that it is almost dark. Please settle in and then come see us. We'll be waiting for you at my home just across the road. Okay, would you like to use some interactive help? Yes. Yeah, sparkling areas indicate places where you can zoom in and play hidden object scenes. Okay. Find all the items from the list at the bottom of the screen. I'm aware of how these work, but thanks. A single sparkle on the screen indicates interactive areas in the game. Okay. You can use a hint, but once you do, another will not be available for 60 seconds. The cheater's way out, but hey, I just might have to be a cheater. Okay, so God, just looking at this makes me remember how much I suck at hidden objects games. Okay, those the ones right there. Are you one? No. Okay. There's the binoculars. Is that the padlock? You know? Are you anything? Yes, you are. Okay, what about you? So, you know, sometimes things just look like so obviously out of place, like there's no way that they're not part of it. That makes it a whole lot easier.
And then there are the ones that blend into everything. Do something? No. But you know, oh, but you are. I just need two gears and two lizards. Oh, and the ship. There you go. Okay, there's a lizard. A gear. Are you... Yeah, see, I could barely see that because the, um... The thing that lets me know that it's recording is, like, right here blocking it, so can't really see behind it. I just need one more gear. There you are. Well then, you found a set of gears that might be handy in the future. Okay. A cursor will change to a magnifying glass when you can zoom in on an area. These magnified areas can contain useful information, inventory items, and puzzles. The jewelry box is locked. I need a key. But I don't have one, do I? No, I do not. Now I gotta find a key. If the door is open, you can move between locations by clicking on the area where your cursor changes to a navigation icon. Okay. I don't like that. There are many interactive zones in the game. When the cursor changes to a hand icon, you should click in that area to interact with it. What the devil was that? It was some sort of strange... Whatever that says, I can't... That's not how that's supposed to work. It says, I love you, Grandpa. I meant your grandson. Okay. So we're looking for a kid. What? Sometimes inventory items can be in magnified areas. You can collect these items by clicking them and the cursor changes to a hand icon. Great, thanks. Okay, do I want to read this? I don't know. Anniversary of the Great fire. Today is the anniversary of the gruesome tragedy that tainted our once peaceful and prosperous town. We all remember the horrifying fire which ravaged the theater seven years ago and claimed many lives, including the master. The master gave us the wondrous delights that make Joyville such a unique place to live, so we should honor him. There are plenty of magical mechanisms on the streets we can still visit and enjoy today. Many townspeople, however, fear everything the Master made ever since the kidnapping began. They believe it is the Master's malevolent spirit that is haunting our town. The police tell us they have everything under control, but another child has gone missing just three days ago. I have, for one, warned the loss of the magnificent puppet theater that the Master built. Amidst its fantastic music foundation and the amazing shows, it brought tourism to this town, but now only its fire-damaged shell remains. A terrible reminder of the death of a man and our town. Well, that sounds like it's no fun at all. Attention, one more person miss missing on September 19th. Simon Murray, the son of the hotel owner's daughter, Sarah Murray, disappeared from home. If you have any information that might help defend Simon, please inform us about this. So I'm going to say that Simon... Alright, well that sucks. Okay, well, first one on the list is artificial teeth. Okay.
this puppet hand. That's more of a puppet arm, though. So, like... Okay, three bracelets. So, one... Two... And three... And the boot... Knife... Bottle... And then globe, and where's the other one? I feel like once I find it, it's just gonna be like so obvious where it was, and I'm just blind. I'll find it eventually. So two clocks, so one and two, two cups, one, two, and the broom, lemon, and four stars, three, and Okay, where is the other globe? And there it is. Well done, you found a mechanical puppet arm. To use the inventory item, click on the tools button to select the inventory item. Okay, I kind of figured that out. Drag the item from the inventory to place it where you want to use it, and click again. Just gotta move on, okay. Save us, open the locks. I don't like that. You found sheet music, it might be in handy in the future, okay. But there was something else over there that I'd like to check out, but okay, guess not. Well, let's go out of here. Now that we have a key, let's open this. You found a set of weights. It might be in handy in the future. Okay. I don't blame them. Cleaning would be the last thing on my mind at a time like this. Okay. He is such a good boy. Why did he have to disappear? That's some nice walls you got there. Okay, do I want to go back this way? Is there anything else? No, okay. So well, this was sparkling, so is there anything else? It seems I haven't bothered to clean in quite some time. Okay, guess we're going this way. And also, I'm like not like looking at it or anything, but I have like a walkthrough on my phone, so that like because I guess the game is divided into chapters, and so my plan was to do like one chapter per video. So I'm only using it so I can like follow along so I know like what each chapter is. And I guess this is the end of the first chapter, so... I will work on chapter 2 probably pretty soon because I was really excited to play this game. So, um, yeah, that'll be up after this one. So yeah, hope you guys like it. I mean, this game is kind of old. I think it came out in like 2009. But, yeah, so, um... I'm gonna end this one here. I'll play the next 
chapter probably right after this, and I'll see you guys next time.